Hi, I have been involved in the production of marketing content for brands for many years and have a passion for technology and finding ways to create and use content to market in a digital world. I come from a family of teachers and also have a passion for education and through this my Brands for Literacy project has developed. Melinda Gates gave a presentation at TEDx titled What Nonprofits Can Learn from Coca-Cola and essentially what the talk was about was how is it that you can get a Coke in the most remote areas of Africa but we can't deliver vaccinations to save people's lives. The same can be said about education content. But by leveraging the power of brands and their distribution network, we can help solve this problem. Here's how it can work. As we know, Africa is a mobile-first continent and is seeing a significant increase in the adoption of smartphones. The challenge, however, is connectivity, the speed of access, and the cost of data. So how can we use smartphones for education but overcome these issues? I've been working with a software plugin which converts two pages of A4 text into a high-density code, which, once scanned via a free app, converts the code back into two pages of text on the handset without having to connect to the internet, so no data charges are incurred. This small code can be printed on products, packaging, marketing material, magazine ads, etc., at very little cost to brands. Here's a few examples. A code printed on hot chocolate can be a bedtime story or a history lesson on the origins of cocoa. The code can be printed on the back of the product or on the inside of the wrapping. And as codes can also be generated in multiple languages, the bedtime story can then be available in multiple languages, which is really cool. The content can of course be anything from education content to recipes, product instructions, nutritional facts, etc. Medicine inserts can have all official 11 languages printed as codes. And by using Google Translate within the app, the information can also be translated to 57 other foreign languages or even read out by a voiceover in 13 different languages. So it really is a very versatile and practical app. In the same way, we could print multiple language codes in one copy of an English textbook, where every third page would then contain the multiple language codes, which many learners can then scan and have the content stored on their smartphone to be read anywhere, anytime. So it's a really awesome app, and we want brands to participate by printing these codes onto their products, packaging, and marketing material thereby distributing huge amounts of free education content in multiple languages to reach even the most remote schools. Although the app does not require an internet connection or use data to scan and convert, it does require a smartphone which can be a challenge for disadvantaged learners. We have a commitment from a USA-based company, EcoATM, who recycles smartphones, who will donate at least 100 smartphones per month towards our project. We would install the app as well as some free education content before we distribute these to learners. It's a start and it's something we'd also like to get going locally where people can donate unused smartphones to disadvantaged learners by dropping them off at retailers and mobile phone stores. I'm super excited and very proud that Brands for Literacy was submitted and has been selected as a development project for the Mobiles for Education Symposium, which is being held in Washington, D.C. this month. This invitation-only event for thought leaders in the use of technologies in education will allow me to interact with approximately 200 of my peers from around the world in a highly participatory forum to showcase promising technology for education initiatives. This event, as with past M Education Alliance Symposia, is designed to facilitate deep knowledge exchange around specific topics and trends in the field. In addition, I will be able to discuss Brands for Literacy in intensive small group working sessions organized to identify project collaborators 
and areas of possible partnership with the Guard's shared interest, technical and financial support. I hope you agree that attending the symposium is a great opportunity and that Brands for Literacy is a very worthwhile project to support. So how can you help? To get the project going and to deliver at least 1,200 smartphones to disadvantaged learners in the first year, I'm requesting brands, companies and individuals to sponsor the project startup costs at just 100 Rand per smartphone so it will hopefully fit into everyone's budget. If you're an individual who wants to sponsor just one smartphone for a learner, or a brand or company who wants to fund 100, it will all help to reach our initial goal. I'd really appreciate it if you could share this initiative with your business and personal network, and most importantly, also motivate or challenge them to match or better your contribution. If you'd like to sponsor or need any more information, please give me a call or send me an email. I look forward to hearing from you and thank you in anticipation for your support.